Hey guys, Matt from Atlas Precision Consulting. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about review cycle and how it affects your calculation for your order point in your up to replenishment method. Uh, as you can see here on this example item here, we have a review cycle of zero and a calculated order point of 53. Now there are other factors that come into play, but I want to show you specifically how the review cycle affects that. So if we come to the supplier maintenance uh, screen and go to the purchasing tab, you'll see review cycle here currently set to zero. Basically review cycle is you telling P21 how many days between you're looking at this vendor's items, right? So if you look at this item or the, excuse me, this vendor once a week, you'd put a seven there. If it's every two weeks, you'd put 14 and so on. And remember those are calendar days, not business days. Uh, you can also set up uh, separate view cycles for different locations within the location tab under supplier maintenance. Uh, if all of yours were seven days, but one location was 14, you could come in here and just put a 14 in the one. All the rest of them would default to this one default on the purchasing tab. So in this example, we're going to uh, put 14 days in here. I'm going to save this. I'm going to jump back to my item master inquiry. And again, seeing where we're at at 53 zero review cycle. I'm going to come here and I'm going to right click and refresh my data. Now I want to come back to my purchase stock card. That number is going to go from 53 calculated to 109 because I've added those 14 days in there. Uh, if you guys have more questions about review cycle and how it affects purchasing, or if you have questions about other parts of purchasing, put them in the comments below and, and always like and subscribe. Um, and Atlas is here to help you with any of your P21 needs. Thanks, guys.